Today I'm going to be going over the Artec EVA handheld scanner for reverse engineering complex parts. So this is a piece of positive tooling for hydroforming aluminum. It's normally be kind of hard to inspect to, you'd have to generate lots of different points on it. So all it is, I have the Artec Studio editor open. I'm going to start the scanner into preview mode. I'll get my right distance. I'll begin scanning. And I'll just slowly rotate my turntable to capture the geometry of my part. Once I have a good complete capture, I'll stop. It's going to go through and process the data. Now with the Artec EVA, as soon as I leave the scan, it will run a fine serial registration. It always does that with the Artec scanner plugged in. When I open my tools. I'm going to have options in here for doing a rough serial, which has already been done, a fine serial, which was already done, and a global. So I'll say global re registration. I'm just going to go through and take all the different scans, different pictures it did, and lay them on top of each other and finally tune them together. Once it's done that, I'll have it go through and remove the outliers. Now all of these have presets and the defaults work most of the time. However, you can go in and select these drop-down menus to fine-tune each settings of each individual tool. So it's gone through and removed that. Now I have three options. I have a fast fusion, smooth fusion, and a sharp fusion. Fast fusion is the quickest way to process a model. A smooth fusion works best on objects that are very smooth and organic, while a sharp fusion works on very uh, structured objects such as uh, machine parts, anything with square corners or sharp edges is ideal for using that. For in this case, I'll do a fast fusion just to very quickly generate a model. It's going to go through and fuse all the scans together, generating me a model. And you can see it's not perfect. It has some holes in it and some errors. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to say small objects filter. It'll remove almost all the outliers. I'm going to go down to hole filling, and it'll fill in my holes. And I can go through mesh simplification or remesh if I don't like the way it, the triangles inside of the mesh have been set up. Or a general smoothing, something you more want to be worried about if you have a non-organic part, once again, something you'd use the sharp fusion on. However, for our So I filtered small objects, I filled in the holes, and now you have options down here to simplify the mesh if you wanted to, if it was too big of a file size. You have remeshing options if you didn't like the way the triangles laid up and it had some convoluted areas, or smoothing for if you had something more organic and it was looking too jagged. I can go down, and there was an align option in here, so if you had two different scans, you could align them together to make one. So the top half of part maybe, and the bottom half of part. I'm going to go down to is I'm going to go down to texture. I'll select my scan, tell it either generate triangles using a map or a texture atlas. There's a slight difference in processing time between the two. The triangles map is usually faster. I can give it the resolution. I'll stick with 5 by 12 by 5 by 12, and I'll say apply. It's going to go through and take all the images it picked up and apply that texture to my now formed solid model, or rather my mesh. going to go through, process it. Now, it's giving me a rough preview of my model. However, it's not ideal. I'm going to have to adjust some. Usually what I like to do is increase the brightness a little bit. And you can play with the saturation and hue. Usually small tweaks are ideal. Just to bring out if you want to have a certain color come out. and a slight bit of gamma correction. And I'll say apply. And now I have my model. If I need to showcase it to anyone, I can texture it. Or I can just go in and say, have it scanned so that I can go in and reverse engineer this in CAD and make modifications to the mo model if I didn't have the existing CAD geometry.